Craig McLean, uh, as president of the Deep Sea Biology Society, uh, what was the need to create this organization? So for many, many years there have been a, has been a symposium for deep sea biologists that occurs every three years. They go back, this is our 14th one, so they go back quite a, a ways. And, but we haven't had a society to sort of provide a unified voice for the deep sea biology community or ensure that the meetings actually do happen every three years. And so last, at the last meeting in New Zealand, we actually, several of us came up with this idea similarly to have, to form a society. And so over the last three years, we've taken and went from nothing to having a constitution and bylaws and active membership. And so, um, and the goal, the overall goal is to sort of both ensure that these meetings continue, but to sort of provide a policy voice, a voice to the public um, to, to serve as an advocate for deep sea research and provide mechanisms for students to get mentorship um, and generally sort of facilitate the community. So uh, with deep sea, what do you actually mean? So uh, there are multiple definitions of the sort of deep sea and deep oceans. Um, some people refer to the deep oceans as anything beyond the continental shelf. Um, so anything up deeper than say 200 meters or so. Um, but there's some wiggle room in there. It's also sort of the last, uh, where the last bits of light go out of the water column. And so, um, but typically anything deeper than a couple hundred meters. So what are the, the main challenges that your society, the biology, uh, sure. So um, has to face it. I think, you know, um, the any fledgling society has the same basic issues, which is both trying is which is to identify the needs of what the membership is and sort of try to provide solutions for those. Um, in the years to come, one of the big things that we face is generally raising money to support the meetings. The meetings are very expensive and they require a huge commitment from the local hosting group, um, both in terms of their time but in the finances as well. They have to put down the deposits on the food and the catering and, and you know the conference center and things like that. And by forming the society and start to build up a, um, a, an account of funds we hope to take some of that financial burden at least off of the local committees and allow more organizations and more places to actually host it who may not have the means to do that themselves. So um, right now, what are the future perspectives for the society? So um, in the next three years, um, I, besides raising money, um, we hope to have more in place that sort of highlights deep sea research. So we're uh, thinking about ways that we can provide awards and recognize the people in our community who have conducted outstanding research and really made novel contributions to the field. We're thinking about ways that we can facilitate collaborations among people, whether it's bringing graduate students from Europe over to the US or vice versa. Um, we're thinking about uh, a lot about uh, demographic diversity. Um, do, we, do we have plenty, how do we create opportunities from uh, people from third world countries, how do we ensure that we have a, a good gender balance in the society? And so those are sort of our short term aims, I guess, for the next few years. Have you ever been in Portugal? No, this is my first time. It's very exciting. <laughs> are you bit, liking Alvaid? I love this. Uh, yeah, I really love it here and I love, I love the region. I love your wine. Um, I love the cost the of the wine. The food is fantastic too. I, although my wine consumption may be outweighing my food consumption <laughs> since I've been here. but. Um, no, it's, it's fantastic. It's a beautiful country. So uh, today, what, was, uh, what is the, the feedback from the symposium? It has been overwhelmingly, um, I've gotten positive feedback over the last, not just before the, not just during the symposium, but before the symposium. And a lot of the community have really pulled together. Um, as of today, we have 200 people as members already who have paid, actually paid membership into the society and see the benefit of it. Um, we've gotten lots of feedback about suggestions, things that we serve, we serve the community. And so we want to fulfill what they see as needs and, and gaps. Um, and so we've gotten lots of great feedback about things that people would like to see happen, um, including potentially taking the meeting from three years to every two years to ways that we might promote research. And so. That's great. It's been, it's been overwhelmingly 
very, very positive. And I'm really happy that the community has come together for this. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was easy? <laughs>